So it says it's an hour and 40 minutes to gold. And then from gold to Twin Peaks. Is... Okay, fine. Um, so yeah, I think it would make sense to go, go to gold. We'll only be there for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, because they'll call the police. There's not going to be much happening. They don't know what I'm doing here, and they're going to be panicking a little bit. So when I show up at gold, they're going to instantly call the police. Which is fine, because we'll get out of there before they arrive. Because we don't want to cause hassle, we just want to show up at the gates to get, you know, see what's going on and have a look and see what we can see. We might not be able to see anything, but it makes sense while we're here. Yeah. And then from Gold, because it's on the highway, you can't like stop and chill out there. We'll just stop, go up to the gates, say hello, and then we'll go to Twin Peaks, which is a little bit further away. That's where Shelley Miscavige is supposedly being held captive, which is up in the mountains, it's a bit more remote. But the moment, when, when I show up at Gold, they'll panic. When I show up at Twin Peaks, I think they're going to panic even more. Oh, are we... You're trespassing, you need to leave. Is it possible to have a look You're around? You're trespassing, you need to leave. So we're not allowed to have a tour You're trespassing, anything. you need to leave or we'll call the police. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll make our way then. Thank you, have a nice day. Captain Davies says hello, by the way. Okay. All right. There we go. They don't want us here. So, Golden Era Productions is not open for all. Let's go see if we can find Shelley. That was um, weird. Let's, have we got someone following us? Right, let's keep an eye on those two cars. Black hair, sad face. <laughs> that looks like Kathy. Yeah. Let's play some games. Let's just pull over in here. Oh, actually, no, no, there's, there's a couple of these cars. 636 is the red, the Chevrolet. Yeah, just pull over here. But very slowly because it's going to be really gritty and gravelly. We got a cheap. There you go, and then go straight, keep going, keep going, we'll follow him. That was exhilarating. You did good. I don't expect much will happen, like they're not going to come out and start giving us loads. Well they might do, I might be wrong, yeah. but like, I think it's going to be quite boring in terms of we won't see anything, because they'll go on lockdown, the moment I show up, they'll be on like, Right, no one's coming out of the buildings, everyone's staying inside. But what we can do is we can go to the different cafes and restaurants in the local area where Shelley Miscavige was spotted once and we can we can go with a picture and go, Hey, have you have you seen this woman? Do you know do you recognise her? Because someone did that a while ago and someone did recognise her. They said, Yeah, we've seen her before. But that was several years ago and no one's done anything on camera. So I'd like to go there and you know, just ask some locals, when was the last time you saw this woman? Because that might give us an idea as to whether she's still alive, whether she's there, or yeah. she, cause she could have been moved to a different base, or she could, right. she could have, you know, gone. So just do a bit of information gathering, I think, you know, and just see what we can find out. Should we go ring the buzzer? Cameras are following us.
Hello, can you hear me? Is anyone home? Hello? Can't hear anything. I guess nobody's home. And look, can we see that camera there? The one with the white top with the black dome. Watch it as it follows us round. See? Can you see it's following us? It's watching our every move. Hello. We're looking for Shelly. We just want to make sure Shelly's okay. Look, watch it follow. This is why I should have a gimbal really. <laughs> Playing games with a CCTV camera. Hello? Over here? Hi, we're looking for Shelly. All right, well look, there's not really many places to go, so like we'll just keep going down the mountain the way we came, and then, um, you know, the place I pointed out on the way, we'll stop off there, the like the cafe thing and ask so they said he was like no they said wait hold on let me see and I, I showed him and he, he looked for a second and I personally believe he totally recognizes her but he was like, uh, no, 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 I don't know. But like in a kind of way that wasn't very convincing. Right. Um, so it, right. I got the impression, this is just an assumption, but I think it so sounds like she, she, no, well maybe she's come in or something or someone's come in with her and said, hey, if people are asking for me out here, I don't want to be found. Um, please tell them that you don't recognize me. Because right. if, she, if he didn't recognize her at all, there were like four pictures that I showed him, he would have been like, no, I don't recognise her. But the fact that he took a look and a minute and then he looked at me and then looked at the phone again and then he said, uh, no, I don't recognise her. You know what I mean? It was just, it wasn't a convincing no. Yeah. 